Nicholson and I run a company, an online company for putting new lenses into your own frame called Reglaze Glasses For You. Now I do a lot of verifocals, I specialise in verifocals as well as single vision lens. So I thought I'd just do this short video just to explain the difference in verifocals to you. If you go on to either my website or any website you'll see that there's different grades of verifocals and I know it can be really confusing so I'm just doing this short video just to explain the lens that are on my website. Uh, you'll see this four lens that I'm talking about here might look a little bit confusing at the moment but as we go through them you'll, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So if you're new to verifocals or if you wear verifocals already then I'm wearing verifocals at the moment and the top part where you can see my pupils that's the distance area just slightly lower down is the intermediate area which is for anything that's at arm's length so that's like looking at your computer screen or say if you play the piano or anything that's like reading your music anything that's set at arm's length and then down through the bottom of the lens here that's the near vision area, so that's your reading area, or so like if you sat sewing or something, anything that's close, you're going to be looking through this area. So I've drawn these, these are four different types of verifocal lens, as I say, I'm going to explain this. You see that there's, at the top, the distance, in the middle, intermediate, and at the bottom, the reading area, like in my lens. All verifocal lens work in exactly the same way in that they've got the distance, intermediate and reading area apart from this one which I'll come to last. <clears throat> right, so this one, this type of lens I don't sell it because quite honestly I just think it's a waste of money, it's rubbish. You might find, occasionally you might find opticians offering free very focal lens and chances are it's going to be one of these kind. Uh, can I just explain? These are very, very basic drawings as well. Normally, very focals, they've got more lines in them uh, to show, in fact, these are what they look like. They're more like this. I don't know if you can see that clearly or not, if it's blurred. But you can see they've got loads and loads of lines on. So I've just really, really simplified it and done it like this so that it's just easier in all honesty and you'll be able to absorb it better. So this is the first lens, so you've got your distance area, intermediate, that's at arm's length, your reading area at the bottom. These areas at the side are in your peripheral vision here and here and towards your, time, your nasal part here. You'll find that as the, pro as the prescription gets towards the edges of your lens, you'll get a certain amount of distortion towards the edges of your lens so it's perfectly clear looking straight down the middle of your lens but as you just glance towards the edges of your lens here and here it starts going blurred and the better the quality of the lens the less of that distortion that you have so <clears throat> this is the basic one I forget about it because I simply don't sell it it's like I say I think it's just a waste of money the more the trouble than the worth then you're coming to an upgrade of those you see it's distance, intermediate reading, just the same, but the areas here of distortion towards the edges, a lot, lot less. So with this one, you've got a really good distance area, you've got a good reading area. Intermediate's okay, but you have still got a fair bit of distortion going towards the edges. And, <coughs> excuse me, these are what I'd class as, if you're on my website, you'll see the premium wide vision verifocals. And... Essilor, I do a lot of Essilor lens simply because I trust them, they're just excellent and they do a whole range just the same. So with Essilor I would say this is the equivalent of their Very Lux Comfort. So it's going to be perfectly clear as you're looking straight forward, glance towards the edges and they're not going to be as bad as this one by a long way but you will get that distortion towards the edges of your lens. <coughs> then we're going on to this one which is, you'll see this is really, really good lens. You can see there's still that bit of distortion towards the edges. You've got your distance area for driving and TV, intermediate for computer, and then your reading area at the bottom. See, there's nice big areas on all of them. Just going to get that little bit of distortion on the edges. 
These used to be Essilor's top of the range lens up to a few years ago. They are still very good, still very popular and they were upgraded to a lens called the S design uh, but that's been discontinued now and it's been replaced by this one which I'll explain in a moment. So this one if you want in a, a really good quality lens, it's a digital lens, which means that, which these two are not, it means that it's not just being cut from the front surface of the lens, it's being cut, some digital lens are just cut from the back of the lens, some are cut from both sides, but it makes the vision really, really clear. Digital cutting makes them more precise, they're very, very good, they're very precise, very clear vision. So you can see distance, intermediate and medium, but all three of them are very good. Still got that little bit of distortion on the edges though. Then we come into the X design. It's apparent straight away as soon as you look at it, it looks completely different. This is a completely new lens that came out last year. And you've got all the distance area at the top. You can see it's virtually uninterrupted. The stronger your prescription, the more chance that you're going to be getting a bit of distortion. So if you've got a lot of, uh, a very, very strong prescription, you might get a little bit more here and here. If you've got a very low prescription, it's going to be very minor, any distortion that you have. You can see here, you can see that's totally different. And instead of doing an intermediate area where it's solid vision, one solid block for intermediate, one solid block for reading, you can see here, these are all tiny little cells, they're like hexagonal, they're not round, I've just drawn them round for ease. Um, they're more like this, they're all little connecting hexagonal shaped cells. So, one cell, so this is all solid distance and then from here to here under, under distance it will blend into intermediate and reading. So these little cells here you'll have one that's intermediate, one that's reading, one that might be between intermediate and reading, and you've got another one intermediate, another reading, between intermediate reading. So the basically when you're looking below your distance area, so imagine you're looking at a computer screen or you're looking at your dashboard or you're driving, instead of having looking just down below your distance area for intermediate and then looking further down still for reading, you can look anywhere and you'll be able to see intermediate and reading. So that with this lens, you've got a lot, lot less head movement than you have with any of the other varifocals. With standard varifocals, you'd be used to, if for example you are sat at a computer screen, you'll be used to going up and down like this with your head looking at the different areas. With this one, if you've just got your, your glasses on, look through the top of your lens, you can see all around the room, look down, you just see everything. Uh, at this distance, at this distance, you can see everything without doing any of this head movement, which makes so that when you're walking around in your lens as well, with the old style varifocals, even with as good as your Vizio and these Superior V5, which are my own brand, on Reglaze glasses for you, as you can see, uh, even if you have these on, when you're walking around, you might experience a little feeling of sway as if you can feel things moving a little bit. The longer you wear your lens, the less you're going to notice that. But with the, this X design, these new ones, you're not going to get that. You're going to get, you, as soon as you put your lens on, they're going to feel more, your eyes feel more relaxed, a lot less head movement when you've got your glasses on. So, as I said, the very very basic these drawings um, if you look at the lens themselves the patterns of the lens themselves are probably not going to look anything like this but this is just a very very simple way of explaining it so that you can see the difference in if you've got the choice of uh, very focals that are very basic ones and then you can see some others that are advertised as a lot lot better quality or the digital, you can understand the difference now of how they work and why they might be better for you. So if you use a computer a lot, definitely don't be looking at these. Uh, this is a possibility. I'd probably be looking at this one now.
in all honesty though, it's like anything else, the better it is, the more money it costs. So these are going to be more expensive, but you'll probably find you're going to be wearing them every day for a couple of years and you will get your money's worth out of them. But don't get me wrong, these are very, very good and we still sell a lot of these lengths. So I hope that's helped uh, clear things up a little bit. And as I say, my name's Catherine Iberson and I run reglazeglassesforyou.co.uk, you can find me on there. If you've got any queries, if you want to ask me any queries on any of these, you can give me a call on 01253 or 07767168822 and I shall speak to you then and I'll be happy to help.